Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanzil Mirza. Today we'll do a small demo on JWT, that is JSON Web Token. So it's a pretty important topic. So I felt like have a let's have a small discussion on that. Let's have a small demo on that. So today's demo is going to be the very basic one. Okay. So JWT, as we know, it stands for JSON Web Token. It's a standard for creating data with signature. And by signature, I mean a private secret key or a public secret key. So today we'll see how to use it. We can restrict the user, the other user, to access our database and other API endpoints as well. That we'll see. So the plan is like this: uh, first, we'll create a very basic API using Express. And since the purpose is to show the usage of JWT. Only so we'll create only two API endpoints: one for the token generation, that is the login API, uh, login endpoint, and one for the verification of the token, whether the token is valid or not. And we'll do that by making a uh, get request. So you need two things for this: one is the Node.js, and the other software is Postman. So Node.js to run your Express server, and Postman to test the API. So these two things we are going to need. Okay, let's start the code. Let's start the coding part. Okay, so I'll open the terminal here itself, and I'll navigate to the documents here. I'll create. So I'm going to create a fresh application. So let me first create a folder, and I'll create a folder here. MKDIR. I'll say demo API. Let it be like that, and I'll navigate into this demo API. Okay. Now the first thing that I'll do here is npm init hyphen y. This will create an empty workspace. Uh, not exactly empty, but uh, some minimal code will be there. Now I'm going to open this in VS Code. Okay. Once done, here our uh, we are inside demo API and our package uh, package JSON is here. Okay, so after this, now let's uh, start coding the server part. Okay, before that, I wanted to add few more things. So, okay, first we'll ins install the Express. So the command for adding the for installing this uh, Express is like this: npm install iPhone iPhone save express and here we have express installed now we need one more thing obviously JSON web token and the version that I'm going to install is I don't know whether while making this video whether it is the Latest or not, eight five one. That looks good. Save the code and I'll run npm install again. So that what happened? Okay, there's a spelling mistake. And JSON Web Token also got installed. We have this in Node J uh, Node modules. Once this is done, now we can write the server code. And for server code, I'm going to write an index.js. So the first thing we need is const. Okay, guys. Uh, since this demo is specifically for JSON Web Token, I won't be explaining much code of the server. However, I'll try my level best to keep you informed of what I'm doing here. But my focus is on JWT only. So just follow along. Const express is equals to we require so the first thing that we require is express itself done cons next thing we need is body parser this variable and it goes like this oops there's a spelling mistake sorry for that Done. Const. 
okay we'll see that later now const app is equals to express we'll calling it as a method and then const port I'll keep this in caps lock that's just a naming convention just to tell you that it is a constant and it's not going to change so you can select whatever port you want I'm going to select 8090 and then what we'll do const that use <laughs> this being done body parser json and this is giving error for obvious reasons my bad this has to be app not const it has to be app this being done after that we need okay user routes we will create later okay now we will go to app dot extra line just to see whether the server is up and running and it should respond so I am going to create a response here it will take two parameters one is the request another is the respond fat arrow method and we will send the respond as I'll be simply printing some string like hi I am the server no rocket science this is it so the last step is app.listen so the first parameter that it will take is the port and the other one is a callback method and inside callback uh, we don't need it the stuff the fat arrow method and uh, fat arrow function and then console log I'll print something here let's say server listening on port and this has to be a dollar sign inside far back brackets I'll simply And instead of double quotes, it has to be this, this back tick semicolon over here, not here. At last, save the code, and now we'll see if it is working or not. This being done, I'll do note index.js, and yes, server listening on port 8090. That is okay. So, if right now, if I try to hit this URL localhost 8090 I should be getting hi I am the server that's because right now I am hitting this URL and this route I have hit but we will be having tomorrow we will have multiple routes multiple endpoints so we cannot overload this index.js so what I'll do I'll create a separate folder called routes or routes whatever you call and then inside that I'm going to create a, here I'll create one file mm, that file would be uh, let's call it index uh, api.js okay api.js now here also we need the same thing const express is equals to require and what do we require we require express next thing we need is const router is equals to express dot router it's a method of express and then the final thing that we need is const jwt is equals to require and it will be json web token okay and then uh, where shall I write the code for that uh, let me think okay first we'll create the token okay so what we'll do I'll create a method I'll make a post request get post login so first we'll log in uh, with the correct credentials after logging in with the correct credentials we'll get the JSON web token 
and then after getting the proper JSON web token we can use it to add the data also so before login uh, let me add some data here itself okay and generally we have a separate database like MongoDB or MySQL whatever you want but since it uh, just to keep it simple I'm going to create it here itself so I'll define it here const let's say cars I'm going to create a database of cars okay so there will be some properties of the car let's say the model is let's say ABC one two three Oops, one two three and the color of this car is let's say black okay and we have here I made a mistake this should be in camps encapsulated inside box and we'll have this as a as an object we'll have this okay done I'll just copy paste this comma here model is x y z one two three and the color let's say is white two records are enough just to test it okay now we can write the method which will generate which will create the will create the endpoint which will create the JSON web token for us so post login and then again it will take two parameters request and response and again this fat arrow first thing we need is let payload is equals to subject and let the subject be I'm just calling it one two three four okay in, re in a real time scenario in a real world scenario what you have to do is uh, you can set subject to some some proper ID let's say if you are creating a database of of students you can set it to students roll number if you are doing it for some articles or anything else you can set the ID so basically here you have to put the primary key just as a name and uh, just as a convention I'm telling you okay so the payload is this and then let token is equals to jwt dot sign and the first thing we'll use payload the first thing that will go here is payload and a secret key a secret key just type it secret key or you can just feel free to replace it with the text or number you want I'm just keeping it secret key Okay, and then rest dot status as a response first of all I'll set the status to 200 that means ok and then JSON and inside JSON I would like to send back the token itself which is generated on line number 19 here the same token will be sent as a respond respond okay this is a semicolon here this being done now we'll quickly test the uh, whether our JSON web token is being created or not I'll stop this and start this again generally we use nodemon but uh, I don't want to go into that nodemon wh what nodeman will do it will keep an eye on your server and uh, every time you make a change you don't have to press ctrl c and rerun the server it will reload the server itself but just leave about it right now uh, this being done now I'll open postman let it load okay I can create a new collection and I'll add a new request here 
so that new request is going to be a post and it is going to be local host let's use this for now and I did this 8090 and it was huh, this thing is being done 8090 so first let let me push the data here itself after 8090 let's press send and it is saying cannot post Okay, so this is because okay let me try login as well I'll show you the issue that we are facing okay it's showing uh, cannot post and it's an error for obvious reasons now what we'll do let me open it on the right hand side we'll close it and what we'll do is uh, here in the express code I'll try to use the routes which we have uh, defined in the API JS okay const I'm just calling it cars routes require just give, give the make sure you have the correct path here routers not router what was the name the name of the folder was roots this thing I am talking about I am going to import this file api.js so roots and inside roots we have api and don't forget to add this extension js this is being done semicolon here okay and now we'll use this thing itself app.use cars comma here and the car suit okay this being done and one small step here that I forgot is to use module dot exports is equals to router okay this being done now let's let's see if it works or not save the code now I'll try to hit the same API again okay so in this case it would be cars because here the URL is cars and after cars we'll append this login cars and then login we'll try to make a post request click on send okay it is again throwing some error let's see let me rerun the server and try again control C and I'll run it again then I'll go back to the postman and I'll try to make the request again and yeah perfect we are getting the token so this is how we generate the token okay so now the next step is to create a function that will verify this token let's quickly do that as well okay here itself I'm doing function the name will be verify token request response and next three parameters it will take okay verify token this thing now what we can do is if we have to check few things if required request dot headers dot not required dot headers dot authorization authorization then what we'll say we'll return response and the status will be 401 the status will be 401 and what we'll send here S we'll send a string message unauthorized 
request okay now we'll do it again let token is equals to request dot headers dot authorization dot split split I'm trying to separate out the header part from that so if this being done if token equals to equals to null okay then again we will return response dot status status will be 401 again and again we will send unauthorized request let now we'll see the payload let payload is equals to jwt dot verify we have to verify this token and we'll pass the seek secret key if not payload then we'll return status 401 send again we'll say unauthorized Unauthorized request will say and then request dot um, car ID is equals to I think we don't need we don't need any car ID. Let's leave that part. I'll simply say next here. This being done now we'll create one more route one more route will create so we have created the uh, json web token now we have to see whether it is working fine or not so one get call we have to make and this will be a get request and first thing that i'll pass is verify token this method i am passing and then as a callback again request and response this thing request dot send cars uh, by cars I mean I'm trying to pass this constant this data I'm passing if the token is verified so as a response just pass these cars this array whenever this URL is hit Okay, this being done, save the code, save everything. I will just rerun the server. Okay, I'll go back to the postman and I'll try to log in again. So a new token has been generated. Okay, I'm just copying this right now, I'm not pasting it anywhere. So now what we'll do. I'll try to hit the get URL and just to see whether I'm getting the information or not without passing the token what if I press uh, I'll go back to get as it is a get request and I'll send this thing see I'm getting unauthorized request because I'm not passing the JSON web token that's why I created the login uh, endpoint first so that we can receive the JSON web token now when we have the JSON web token I can go back to the authorization and from this drop down I can select the bearer token and here I can just paste the token which was generated and again I can press the send and wow that's uh, that's how it is done so now we are getting the data also so this is how we implement JSON web token now one important point I want to tell you is this 
at this point inside login where we were generating the JSON web token you can do a lot of stuff here you can just modify this this API this API endpoint like you can have a uh, for an example I'm telling you you can have uh, if else condition like if only your what happened okay I gave parenthesis there if email is equals to something something and condition and password is equals to something something then only you have to generate this token okay you can create a logic like that you can think of think about it but for now there is no such condition I'm just simply telling you how to uh, generate a JSON web token so this is how you generate you hit the login thing login endpoint you created a JSON web token and using that JSON web token you are hitting this uh, this part this get URL so that you can get all the data if right now at this point if I try to tamper this JSON web token let's say I'm trying to tamper this and I press send again so again see I'm getting this thing JSON web token error invalid token so what you can do just to verify whether your token is correct or not just copy this part okay just copy this part go to the website and by the way you can hit the same URL from here itself but then you have to pass the web tokens and all so what you can do there is a website called jwt.io just go to the website okay here you can just paste whatever token you have like I'm going to paste it now and it will immediately show you whether the uh, token is correct or not now here it is saying see in uh, invalid signature now one more time for one last time I want to create one more token I'll go to the login not like this cars login and it is going to be a post request and there are no tokens set okay so this is the new token which is generated you can write code in such a way that this token expires after 30 minutes or 30 seconds that's totally up to you Okay, I'll copy this token I'll go back to this place okay it is showing invalid signature because I haven't passed the secret key now here I'll pass the secret key which is this okay so the secret key I'm taking from here that's why I pass secret key here so this is what you have to send there and once this is sent so the signature is also verified if I try to tamper this uh, or if I try to tamper this it will definitely show you that invalid signature okay so this is it that's how you generate the JSON web token and you pass it through different routes and always feel feel free to modify the code but this is this was the basic understanding so guys uh, hope you like this video P please feel free to comment in the comment section below if you have any problem and then I'll try to resolve it so thanks for watching this video thank you so much see you in the next video guys bye bye